there are three ideas that are at the very foundation of indian civilization and they have not changed over at least 5000 years starting from the vedic period and all the way even now the first idea is that of oneness this is essentially the way india looked at the nature the way india looked at the cosmos behind the apparent multiplicity of forms and complexity lies one consciousness there is a oneness there is one existence undivided unbroken it is that oneness upon which all this multiplicity is arising this recognition of this oneness of existence had been there throughout millennia the second idea is very much connected to the first but at the level of the individual life india saw that there is this phenomenon of rebirth what appears to be a single life time behind it there is an invisible series of rebirths that that individual life form has gone through individual person has gone through there is an evolution of the soul through the process of rebirth the present birth is only a last link in the long chain and they saw that life on earth evolves through many life forms all the way till human life and there too it goes through the series of rebirth till it realizes the fundamental unity the experience of oneness that is the direction in which the spiritual evolution is progressing this is something radically revolutionary no other civilization has recognized this and articulated it in detailed manner and explored it thoroughly ideas of oneness we can see across many civilizations ancient civilizations we can also see recognition of life after death but the idea of rebirth and spiritual evolution and the possibility of realization of that oneness with the whole this is something radical to indian civilization the third idea is again connected with the first two that is of yoga in ancient days it was called yagna then it became dharma then it became yoga it is the process of consciously collaborating with the cosmic forces aligning with the process of rebirth and the projected movement towards oneness and realizing it in the present life itself to accelerate the process of evolution so the yogic process was to essentially accelerate that process of spiritual evolution towards oneness and to experience and embody it and in india across millennium various processes were discovered explored articulated in every civilizational cycle it was discovered it was restated validated and expressed differently depending upon the stage of collective evolution there are all types of vocabulary used all types of interpretations philosophies that came out of it but these three ideas remained the same throughout oneness rebirth yoga and it was not a matter of religion not a matter of belief but essentially of experimentation and experiential realization according to the time and stage of collective evolution these are the 
fundamental ideas of Indian civilization. That's what holds it together and gives it sense of purpose and direction.